Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. I got a lot of messages and emails asking me to explain data science and machine learning in a real world scenario. So here is the first video in that series. I'll be explaining how Uber uses machine learning and natural language processing to improve upon customer experience. Since there is too much information to cover, I'll be dividing this topic into multiple videos. Let's get started. Okay, so how does Uber improve customer experience using machine learning and natural language processing techniques? Just a quick introduction about what is Uber. I think almost everyone knows about it, but just in case someone doesn't know, it's an American multinational ride hailing company which offers services that include peer to peer ride sharing, ride service hailing, food delivery, and a micro mobility system with electric bikes and scooters. There's a special team at Uber which takes care of all the customer queries and resolves them called Uber Customer Obsession Team. Let's look at the scale of customer problems at Uber and what is the solution that Uber chose for it. As Uber continues to grow at scale, support agents must be able to handle a lot of support tickets in different categories. For example, just to give an idea in a numeric sense, lakhs of customer tickets are created daily on the platform across 400 plus cities worldwide. So this team must ensure that agents resolve them as accurately and quickly as possible to provide the best customer experience. So, using the latest technological advancements in machine learning and natural language processing, Uber created a tool called Quota, which stands for Customer Obsession Ticket Assistant. Okay, let's take a look at how the customer support service was before this tool was created. As some of you might know, you have to go through a hierarchy of issue types if you are reporting a problem on the app or the website of Uber, so that this will provide the agents with additional context around the issue, thereby enabling them to solve it more quickly. For a single problem, a lot of solutions are possible, but capturing the information this way doesn't provide with all the necessary information. The ways in which a customer can describe a problem is a lot of different ways. This further complicates the ticket resolution process. When an agent opens a ticket, the first thing they need to do is determine the issue type out of thousands of possibilities, which is not at all an easy task. Reducing the amount of time agents spend identifying tickets is very important because this also decreases the time it takes to resolve issues for users. Once an issue type is chosen, the next step is to identify the right resolution, with each ticket type possessing a different set of protocols and solutions. With thousands of possible resolutions to choose from, identifying the proper fix to the problem to each issue is also a time-intensive process. Here is an illustration of the procedure or the steps that the user has to go through when reporting a problem on Uber. In the first picture, you can see that there are the trip details and then below that there are different categories under which the user can report the problem. And in the second picture, you can see the particulars and the specific category under the broad category which was shown in the first picture, like my driver took a poor route, my pickup or drop-off location was wrong, the route had heavy traffic and so on and on. And then in the third picture, you can see the actual questions asked which will help the customer agent understand better regarding the problem that the user has been reporting. In the third picture, you can see that the parking location of the toll has been asked and then what was the actual toll amount and how much did that user pay the driver for the toll. Enter Quota, the Customer Obsession Ticket Assistant. It also uses Michelangelo, which is Uber's own machine learning as a service platform for quick and efficient resolutions for more than 90% of the inbound tickets. Currently, this tool only works with the English language, but the team is also in the process of building models that can process Spanish and Portuguese languages too. Quota, out of all the possible issue types and solutions for a particular problem, it suggests the three most likely ones based on the information and features of the ticket and the trip. It has been known and tested that Quota can reduce the ticket resolution time by over 10% while delivering the same or higher levels of customer satisfaction, which was measured through customer service service. 10% might seem like a very small duration, but given the speed at which the issues have been creating on the Uber platform, this is a significant amount. Let's take a look at the Quota architecture here. There are seven main steps. The first one says that once a new ticket enters the customer support platform known as CSP, the backend service collects all relevant features of the ticket. Second, the backend service then sends these features to the machine learning model in Michelangelo. Third, 
the model predicts scores for each possible solution. Fourth, the backend service receives the predictions and scores and saves them to our schemaless data store. Fifth, once an agent opens a given ticket, the front-end service triggers the backend service to check if there are any updates to the ticket. If there are no updates, the backend service will retrieve the saved predictions. If there are any updates, it will fetch the updated features and go through the steps two to four again. Sixth, the backend service returns the list of solutions ranked by the predicted score to the front end. And the last step, the top three ranked solutions are suggested to the agents. From there, agents make a selection out of these three and resolve the user's problem. Understand in depth of the backend of Quota. It has to achieve two main tasks. One is identifying the ticket issue type the second, determining the most accurate solutions for them. To achieve both of this, the Michelangelo model uses features extracted from customer support messages, trip information, and the customer selections in the ticket issue submission hierarchy outlined earlier. Next, according to the feature important scores generated by the model, the most valuable feature for identifying issue type is the message customers send to agents about their issue before submitting their ticket. Then an NLP pipeline is built to convert those messages into useful features for the NLP pipeline architecture. For ticket issue identification and solution selection, it has three distinct steps, pre-processing, feature engineering, and computation via pointwise ranking algorithm. So in the starting, you can see that there are data sources, which consist of ticket information, the text in the ticket information, and the trip data. The text of the ticket data is being pre-processed using steps like tokenization, converting all the characters into lowercase, removing the stop words and lemmatizing the text. And then feature engineering is done using TFIDF, which is text frequency, inverse document frequency and LSA, latent semantic analysis. And then the cosine similarity is computed between the features in the vector space. Then an ML algorithm called pointwise ranking is being applied on those features and then predictions like issues and solutions are being generated. Now we'll go into the detail and in depth for each of the process in this NLP pipeline. Let's look at what steps happen in the pre-processing stage. First, the text is being cleaned. That is all the HTML tags are being removed. Then word tokenization is performed. That is splitting the text in, into different words that is under the word level. And then stop words are removed out of all these words. So stop words are essentially those words which convey very little or no semantic understanding of the text like a, uh, to, the, an, in and so on. And then lemmatization is performed where you convert different forms of the word into its root form. So you convert different variations of word into a single format. For example, rocks to rock, better to good, corpora to corpus. Then this entire text is converted into a BOW which stands for bag of words model and then you build a dictionary out of all these words where the values will be the count of how many times each word occurs in the document. I will not go into the complete details of all these concepts but provide you sufficient explanation to understand in this video because I want this video to be confined to the high level implementation of Quota. If you want a separate video on any of the topics, you can let me know down in the comment section and I'll surely make one. So the next step is topic modeling, which is performed using TFIDF and LSA. So just to give you a brief introduction, TFIDF multiplies two scores, that is the TF score and the IDF score. In simple words, the higher the TFIDF score, the rarer the word it occurs in the document. So it's a statistical computation. And then LSA stands for latent semantic analysis. This is an information retrieval technique which analyzes and identifies the pattern in the unstructured corpora and understand the relationship between each of the words in the document. Now comes the time for feature engineering. So we can use the topic vectors extracted from the previous step, that is the topic modeling step as features, but these vectors would be sparse. What I mean is to get a meaningful representation of these topics, most of the dimensions will have a value of zero. So with a very high dimensional feature space and large amount of data to process, training these models will become very challenging. So Uber decided to use topic modeling in an indirect fashion, which is performing further feature engineering by computing cosine similarity features. 
So for example, let's just consider solution selection. So using the historical tickets of each solution, we build a bag of word representation, which we had earlier discussed for each of the solution. After this BOW representation, we will obtain a vector, let's say TI for solution I. So any new incoming ticket, let's say J is mapped to the topic vector space of the solution, which has vectors T1 to TM, where M is the total number of possible solutions that is to be used in resolving a customer's query. What this results in is a vector called lowercase tj for ticket j and then the cosine similarity score sij can be computed between ti and tj to represent how similar these vectors are. In this way we can reduce the feature space from a lot let's say hundreds or thousands of For the upcoming parts of this video and more videos on data science, machine learning and deep learning, subscribe to my channel and stay notified. Do spread this video so that it reaches the right people in explaining how data science and machine learning works in a real world setting.